Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Barry and this is Centralize. And today we're taking a look at Federico Mahora. So, unless you have been living under a rock for quite some time, um, you would have heard of a company called FM. Now, this FM company is, the name behind it is Frederico Mahora. And it's a company that basically do inspirations. Now, they claim that they don't copy, they claim that they're not fakes, but basically what they're doing, they're making inspirations of well-known fragrances and also niche fragrances. So I've been approached a couple of times by these and I've turned it down, but my friend has now started a little business doing these. Um, so I thought I would do a video for him. He sent me some fragrances to try um, I've been testing them over the last week or so and I'm going to give you my thoughts. What I'll do, this is a really good friend of mine. Um, his wife and my wife went to nursery together um, and he asked me if I would do a video. So I'm getting nothing back from this. These fragrances I'm not keeping, I'm giving back to him. So I asked him for two different fragrances and to give me all versions of those two different fragrances. And the two fragrances that I picked were Creed Aventus and Fahrenheit. And the reason why I asked for those fragrances is because I felt that I could test those best because I, t I know them quite well. Fahrenheit I've been wearing since I was in my early 20s and Creed there's a DNA that goes around everywhere everybody's trying to copy it. so I thought I would try those and compare them to the versions that he sends me so the way that they do it they have a pure version which comes in a box like this these are 50 mils so it says pure on the front and that's like the basic version of the fragrance and then they're all numbered you see a number on there they do a pheromone version and they also do an intense version and these are for their main set of fragrances and then what they have got then they've got a royal collection and a, and a utique collection I don't know if you can see them on there which are more exclusive fragrances for the the royal collection and the utique are even more exclusive i actually went round to john's the other night and i was trying some of the samples that he's got he's got some massive packs of samples so i went through all of them and i was trying them and I mean, nine times out of ten, it's unmistakably the fragrance that you associate it with. So it does have a similar smell. How close they are is another question. So, out of these three fragrances that they send, the Pure, the Pheromone and the Intense, my testing of Creed against these, I found that the Pure was quite basic it was probably average lasting not the best pheromone really I wouldn't waste your money on that because it dies after an hour or so but the best one was the intense now this lasted as long as Creed Aventus did but there are differences and the big differences are it was a lot fruitier than Creed Aventus I think mine's a, a 2019 batch or a 2018 batch. Um, but it lasted longer than Creed did and it was fruitier, a lot fruitier. Now, I like the woodiness in Creed. Um, I've, I've always wanted to try and get a 16 batch, but 
it's difficult to get hold of for a decent price. But I do like the fruits that come in Aventus and I think this could be more mass appealing to most people. Now I was looking at the price ranges for these. I think the pure 50ml is £16.90, the pheromone is £17.90 and apparently they use a, a chemical in there which is supposed to be attracting the opposite sex but if it doesn't last then what's the point and then the best one the intense is £20.90 now the Royal and the Utique you're talking levels up because I think the Royal they're doing a lot more niche fragrances although this is a niche fragrance Creed Aventus so I did find differences and then for the Fahrenheit what I decided to do was just open the intense version he did send me a pure and a pheromone but I thought what's the point in opening them might as well send them back to him and he can use them and sell them on um, now Fahrenheit I'm a massive fan of Fahrenheit and there were big differences and once again the FM fragrance tended to be more fruity and there was like less of the lever in there but once again it was decent performance I would say it probably just lasted a little bit longer than the actual Fahrenheit did so whether the pure version would be similar sort of longevity but definitely lasted longer whether it smelled as nice is it depends what you like in fragrance if you like something that's a bit more fruity then you'd probably prefer the FM version if you prefer more of the petrol sort of leather vibe which you get from Fahrenheit then you would prefer the original so to me I prefer the original I also prefer the original Creed but I can see why these would be attractive to other people out there and the price that you're paying compared to the originals then it's a no-brainer really if you're just starting out I don't think any real frag heads out there would be buying FM fragrances I think it's for just the normal everyday person that wants to try different smells and doesn't want to pay the high prices. Now I know they do lots of other things as well. They do diffusers, they do candles, I think they do stuff for the car as well. So they do do a whole range of things. Now I'll leave John's email, his Facebook page, his phone number all in the description so you can speak to him um, if you're local you can even hand deliver them that's the sort of thing that he does um, but you can order them and he can send them through so for me it was quite interesting to try these I'd seen them so many times uh, advertised everywhere and it's a bit of a franchise where people they purchased so many and then whatever they sell on then they make money on what they've sold on so it's a bit like an Avon type thing where you're getting a commission for selling the, the stuff um, and to be honest it's not something I would do but for anybody that puts the effort in you can certainly make money with this sort of franchise but you have to put that effort in. That's the big thing with this. Um, I actually went to John's at the weekend. Uh, it was pouring down a rain and he was out delivering leaflets in the pouring rain without a coat. So that's dedication for you, isn't it? So I'll be returning all these fragrances back to John. So nobody can accuse me of being a shill and doing it for a freebie fragrance which some people have done uh, thanks for that really appreciate it I've always said I'll be honest and I think I've been honest with these I don't think they smell as good as the originals but there's definitely a market out there for this type of thing so have you tried any FM fragrances what did you think of them let me know in the comments below don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll speak to you all soon. Stay fragrant, not vagrant.